Hello, welcome to my video. As you can see, there are some big and major changes to the front of my car. The restoration is continuing to be under its way. I have put in some lights, some bulbs inside there. And the trim piece in there is sitting pretty well. That's all on there. As well, if you watch my older videos, I replaced this a while back. I put on these on my first videos. These right here. I I'm, can't know what the name of these are really called. Just part of the bumper. And then I installed these. And it's not for working condition. It's mainly... What I'm putting this stuff on is to roughly continue to see what I need. I do have a list, but what I need and the idea of how it looks while I go along and restore my vehicle. The second one is in there, sitting on the trim. Everything's good. The light is installed. Now I know I do not have an engine and a battery, and just as I just said, it's just for looks, not for actually working condition. My last video, I told you I have the badges that were not with my car as I first got it, but now I have received the badges, I have the emblem for the hood. Everything looks good so far. I just still don't have the glass. And that's okay. It will come soon enough. The last videos, I was explaining that I was taking off the tires. I have one installed at the moment. And this is on the factory tire. I can go ahead and show you. Right there, it says Ford Motor Company. Five Mike. Uh -huh. I only have three lug nuts on it, and it's a seven eighths lug nut, I believe, that I measured it up. And these are 15, 14 rims, I mean, four, 14 tires, 14 inch, that I had them measured out. And this tire is just the sitting tire. It looks okay just to sit drivable no because there's already cracks in it sitting it is holding air it is doing well and that's the job that i need from it right now so it has been resealed so no air is going to leak out of it it has a new valve stem i wasn't been i wasn't able to clean out this rim as i did the other one that i have the trim is off. I have discovered more rot, more interior pieces that were sitting here are out. And I discovered that the interior, the outside of the car, is a dust can tan. Tan letter L. And that's what this color is here the original color. The original color down there the original color and right here the wheel the steering wheel that's the original color to it as well because if I can go ahead and show you right here there is a sort of dark moco brown with the dusk and tan going along here so mocha mocha as it seems Dusk and tan. Mocha would run along here. I mean, dusk and tan would run along here. The up part and the bottom part, mocha. And assuming this would be dusk and tan, the rest would be brown and mocha. Dusk and tan, as you can tell. All the way dusk and tan with the trim pieces. Dusk and tan down there. Now the trim is all right here. I do get a morning shot. 
So it's better to show everyone this. These pieces right here, as I was explaining in my last video, this one will go to that side. As you can see, it will go there. I am not sure what I did with the emblem that's supposed to be belonging there. As I was explaining, I've been in the military. I came back and a lot of my pieces were stolen and taken and as well misplaced not out of my own doing but families taking the stuff that I had stored there and putting it I assume by what they're telling me inside here in this connex so now I have to search for my own parts which is not fun Thus, I am seeking out getting this car on all four tires so I can move it. Is which my process is doing right now and get out of this out of this location. My seats are still over there. I'm thinking about putting them back in here, taking off the hood, taking off the trunk, deck lid. And to go ahead and starting on those pieces. But I do have an El Camino, a 1977 El Camino that is runnable. It just needs a battery and a key to start it. That was the other process I had to go through. I will be making another video for that one later. But at the moment, I am working on my first car, not my third car. The El Camino is my third car, along with many others. So here is the ferry lane part. And what am I going through, as I explained, is this piece right here does not sit. It goes on. This goes into this hole. As you can see, this one will go into that hole in the farther end on the 500 part down here. It will go in. But this one down here does not reach the real hole. And I know that is not the trim's fault because I have tried two different types of trim for that piece. So I believe somebody put something else there at one time before it was my own car. There's that that I was looking for. Here's this. Now my lid is having some problems. I don't want to show you because I don't want to continue to mess it up. But it is catching and that's why I have my trunk lid open at the moment. On this side, here's a Ford Fairlane 500. So you know it is a Ford Fairlane 500 because everything sits perfectly snug I did get some dents in it when I was trying to pull it off a trailer and myself and my grandfather is not happy with the person that was helping us that day so they sit lower down there and it sits down up there So we go over back to the other side and the hole is not down where it's supposed to be for the 500 part. So that is an issue. Maybe there might be Bondo in it. Maybe there might not. I'm not entirely sure. And I didn't have the time to show you 
before here's all the spare light but I do have more pieces here is this piece goes for the motor these that I actually do have more of those and these are spares that's why they're green because these are my spares and as I did explain I will be happy to trade for these I right hear not this I need that and some of these so here's this it's in better shape than my stuff better shape than mine Here's something from my motor. The last thing, parts of it. I don't know if this is my transmission. So if anybody can help me. As I said, it is a Ford. It is numbered 15 Delta 4 Alpha Papa Dash 7006 Dash Alpha Alpha. And on this side, 403, 15, and down there, it says 582, and then in the circle wheel, it says 18753, and this seems to be an M and a C and a C. And that is all that I can tell from it. Here's this. An extra part. That's an extra part. This I do need. Here's an extra part. Here's an extra part, I believe, yes. License plates. More matching license plates. My extra light that I got. Rear view mirror.